Well, hey, we know you all want to come up to Alaska next year, so we're going to share a couple of the cool spots to camp right near downtown Talkeetna. Hi, I'm Rhonda. I'm Angie. And we are Adventures in Nomadness here in Talkeetna, Alaska. Easy for me to say. <laughs> She's obviously not from here. But hey, I can kind of claim that I am because I graduated from high school up here and I've been here off and on since 84. But if you've been following our channel, you know that we came up to Alaska last summer to check on our cabin and with the pandemic, we decided to stay. Well, we're back in the RV again and we want to share with you when you come up in the future, what are some of the best places to stay when you do come to our town of Talkeetna. Now there's two main campgrounds and then there's a couple of other smaller places that you can stay in town and out on the spur road. Well, if you want to stay for free for one night in downtown Talkeetna, you could come here. Like, where is here? All right, we're outside the Susitna Salmon Center and it's right next, right across in the ball field, but there's this spot right here. <laughs> so the boondockers welcome is no power, no water, uh, and it's kind of unlevel, but it is free for a night. So it's a perfect spot if you just want to pull into Talkeetna for a night. With our size rig, our 21 foot travel trailer and our F-150, this would be long enough for us. We wouldn't even have to detach. You just roll into town, back up for a night and, you know, go hit the restaurants and bars for the night. Woohoo, have a good time. And if there's ball stuff going on, you can watch some games. But let's go show you the paid for spots because there is a couple of spots for $30 a night that have power and water right on the front side of the Salmon Center. Downtown Tolkiena is literally a block that way. So you're real close to all the action. For $30 a night, you can camp right here. So there is a 30 amp hookups and a water right there. No dump station, but you know, it's a decent spot. If you don't mind being in town, real close to all the action and a lot of noise that goes on here. It's a, you know, better than nothing, I guess. The Susitna Salmon Center is a, sort of an educational nonprofit center. Uh, all having to do with salmon education. There's some cool gifts and stuff in there too. Talkeetna River Park, which is like actually downtown on the main drag of Talkeetna, is no RVs and there's something like seven sites. It's, it's really car tent camping. Um, $20 a night, which we think is a bit steep for just tent camping. But if you want to stay downtown and that's the kind of camping you want to do, not sure it's going to be all that quiet and you can see the spots are pretty close together. It's really all about convenience. There is uh, two decent pit toilets that are open all the time and they do have garbage here. Side of the tracks. Oh wait, I mean East Talkeetna. So as a teenager, there was to be a, a good trail through here to the other side, and I'm just being lazy instead of walking all the way around from town. But I'm a local, I know where the trails are. Don't do what I'm doing. All right, so we're going to talk about the two major parks, and we're going to tell you which one is our favorite out of the two. The first one that we're in is the Talkeetna RV. It's actually at the boat launch. Now this one is first come first serve, $25 a night, no hookups whatsoever. So there's no power and no water here. Uh, you can get some water up towards the front. There's a hose up there and um, 
get your water and go find your campsite. Uh, you don't have a dump station here, but you can go to the Talkeetna Camper Park, which is the other one we'll talk about, and dump there. Uh, as far as amenities, well, here's the biggest amenity right here. You're right on the Talkeetna River. <laughs> and this is probably my favorite spot. There's another great spot down there too. <laughs> but this campground being right at the boat launch is right on the Talkeetna River. So if you want that all natural setting, this is, oh, and the mosquitoes, this is definitely it. Uh, they do have bathrooms in the office and there are showers there as well. The showers will cost you six bucks, but it does include soap and a towel. There's a couple of outhouses, but I think they're closed and they look pretty rough <laughs> from the mm -hmm. outside. I'm not even sure those are in use, but if you walk that way over to the boat launch, there are some nicer pit toilets or outhouses over there. So this is a great spot, not just because you're right on the river, but because the main boat launch is here as well. So uh, you can launch your boat and have a good river day. Great fishing out of here as well. But, well, really the best part about this campground is you feel like you're out in nature. Most of the spots are pretty well spaced out. Uh, there's some spots down there that look like they're kind of uh, back to back, back in. But when you keep walking around here, you realize that there's some spots that are very spaced out. And I mean, you really hardly see anybody. We're here on a Sunday afternoon and I think there's only a couple of RVers here right now. So it's pretty empty. But as we get into more in the summer, it is gonna be pretty packed in here. And we're pretty impressed with how, how spaced out some of these campgrounds are, mm -hmm. campsites are. As far as noise, I would say you're gonna have noise at any campground near Talkeetna. Airport is right here. So there's a lot of flight scene that goes out taking climbers and tourists up to Denali. Um, the, the main noise we're hearing right now is the river. So the other noise you're gonna have uh, is basically the river boats that are, that are going out of here and the airport. Uh, there is no Wi-Fi here, but the cell service is pretty good. And there's also these really cool spots with this cover over it. This site is huge. I think you can get a big, huge class A in here. And you have this little covered picnic area and the little fire pits right there. And that's another difference. Uh, this campground, you can have fires. Uh, the other one, you can't. <laughs> Most spots in this particular campsite have a lot of tree cover, and so generators might be required for longer stays. We see these, we're right across the office from the Talkeetna RV. And these little things mark the way for the trail right into town. So this makes this a faster walk into town than the Talkeetna Camper Park. All right, the other campground and the one we're staying at right now is the Talkeetna Camper Park. Now this one has five sites with full hookups. Those are $48, so that includes power, water, and your dump right at your site. All the other sites are power and water and do not have a dump. But there's a dump station here, just a drive-through regular dump station. You can also fill your water here. There's Wi-Fi, laundry, bathrooms, and the showers are $2 for four minutes or $4 for eight minutes. So this one really does have all the amenities. Uh, the downside, of course, is you're not going to feel like you're in a park. You know, this is more of a, a packed in setting. It's not real busy right now, uh, but it certainly was over the weekend. It's Sunday afternoon, and so it's mostly cleared out. Uh, for this one, I would definitely make reservations. It was completely packed last night. Uh, right now it's not, so if you show up, you can pretty much pick whatever site you want. And there is a sign on the registration board uh, saying just that. All right, you can't have your own campfires in your site, but there is a community campfire over by the building over there. Uh, you can have your own propane fires, though, in your spot. Right, well, out of the two campgrounds, this one is definitely the noisiest. The airport is right there, and the Talkeetna Spur Road is right behind us. Uh, this camper park is right on the Talkeetna Spur Road as you head into town, so there is quite a bit of traffic there. Uh, the train also is right behind us. So in a few minutes, the uh, Talkeetna Railroad train set a, uh, heading southbound from Fairbanks to Anchorage should be showing up here. And uh, we'll try and see how loud that is. But uh, for Sunday afternoon, it's uh, start, starting to get kind of full again in here. But it's a great spot if you want to be close to town and you have all the amenities if that's what you want. All right.
right, so what's our overall impressions of these two biggest camper parks or campgrounds in Talkeetna? Well, I actually like them both, and it depends on what you want. The Talkeetna Camper Park is just that. It's a camper park. It's going to feel a bit more like a, like a parking lot, but it's close to the action, and you've got full hookups and all the amenities you could possibly want, right? And I would say you will see a lot of rentals here. So if you're unfamiliar with something, this is probably a good place to stop and get used to the rig. And there's other people to ask questions of. But it is the noisier of the two parks as we're standing right by the airport on a really nice day. But the owners are super nice here. They are totally awesome. So I would totally recommend this place. And the other place, Talkeet and RV, if you want more of a campground in a park setting, that would be, that would totally be my pick. It doesn't have any amenities as far as power and water. And there's not even a dump station here, but you can come to the Talkeetna Camper Park and they will charge you $10 to dump. So uh, you can have the best of, of both worlds there. And you know, if you need a hookups for a night, you can always come here and divide your time if you wanted to. Well, it's right on the river and it's also right next to a river, what would you call that? Boat Tour? Launch. Oh yeah, Mahay's Riverboat Service yeah. is right there. Uh, both places have restaurants right next door too. So Talkeetna Camper Park, the Latitude 62 is right here. And next to Talkeetna RV is a Swiss Alaska Inn. So both locally owned with uh, great owners and great food. If you got any value out of that, please hit that like button. Considering subscribing to our channel and we'll see you in the next video. Happy travels.